X, as we know, formerly Twitter, now it is called X by Elon Musk, the owner, is uh, uh, ostensibly devoted to free speech principles. There are a couple of shows that are distributed via X. They're not owned by X, but they're distributed by X. Uh, most notably, our friend Tucker Carlson has one. And also, and his Cuomo interview. Did we play some of the Cuomo interview or not? I don't think we've played it yet, have we? No, we didn't play any. We, we should play some Cuomo clips. We had those from the Tucker interview. Some of them are well, entertaining. Well, we played, we played him saying that he couldn't beat up a... Uh... Uh, that that he okay. wouldn't hit a. Didn't we play like the? Yeah, that or one. Did we get that, totally that one, distracted. Yeah. I can't there was remember a if funny, we played it or if we talked about playing it. Yeah, there was a funny exchange where uh, Chris Cuomo was asking Tucker, "Why did you make fun of me for lifting weights so much?" If I was there, I would have said, "No, no, no. It wasn't making fun of you for lifting weights. It was making fun of you for constantly taking video of yourself lifting weights and sharing them publicly as a 55 year old man who does not work in the fitness industry." You know. That would have been the way that I would have gone with it. But anyway, Elon sat down with not Tucker. That, he's done that before. That would be interesting again. But with Don Lemon, as Tucker used to call him. Uh, Don Lemon, formerly of CNN. And he had been a problem there for some time, Clay. I think what really got him finally pushed out was his women are in their prime in their 20s and 30s comment when he doubled down. That was when I was, I was like, oh, Oh, Don. Well, it wasn't uh, just that he gave that opinion, Buck. It was that when pressed, he said, Google it. Like, oh, I'm a, you know, I've done my research. And, uh, and I mean, th to be so dumb, and maybe this is just a gay guy. Like, I, 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 you know, I think he gets a pass on a lot of stuff because he's black and gay. And that gives him two protected class uh, uh, aspects at CNN that still fired him. But to do your research for a segment, to sit down in front of Google and type in when are women in their prime and then on Google and then do a search and then anybody who questioned your opinion just be like, Google it, uh, is is next. Maybe the dumbest, most ridiculous thing that anyone has said on CNN. I think they canceled the morning show too, by the way. And there's been a lot yes. of ridiculous things, but for a host to say on CNN. So Elon sat down with Don Lemon at his request and uh, here is how so this is cut seven, how some of the exchange uh, it, it devolved. It got a little testy. Play it. Hate speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the great replacement theory as it relates? I to don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that I don't have to answer questions from reporters? Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the same guy we're talking about in the last hour whose company that he, he built from the ground up is putting the biggest rockets in space ever and is advancing space travel in a way that could change the future of humanity. He's sitting down with Don Lemon, who Trump memorably uh, on Twitter, former, uh, now ex, formerly Twitter, said was the, quote, dumbest man on television. Do you remember that tweet, Clay? Oh, yeah. Don Lemon, the dumbest man on television, sits down with Elon Musk and immediately launches into, but what about hate speech? Um, I, I think increasingly the answer to this has to be, I, I appreciate Elon's just like, shut up, leave me alone. Like, you asked me to sit here and now you're annoying me. I get that. But also... I think you have to just say, no, we actually can't moderate hate speech because the left has made it so that hate speech is everything that they don't like. And we know they've, they've abused this beyond any reason or rationale. So no, actually, we're just going to allow people, if you don't break the law, you're allowed to use the platform. Also, this is very strange. CNN put back on Don Lemon after firing him and ran a bunch of clips from his interview with Elon Musk, which makes it feel like this was all set up in advance. And then Don Lemon tried to say, uh, I think we have this cut nine, that, oh, Elon is canceling the contract. He doesn't care about free speech. And before we even play uh, what is cut nine here, Buck, there's a big difference between what Elon has said, which is you're entitled to post a video saying whatever you want on Twitter, on X, there is no obligation for me to pay, that means Elon, me to pay you to share your opinions. 
we don't have a First Amendment right to be paid by iHeart. iHeart could decide, you know what, we're going to move on. We're going to put other people on. Some of you may say they should do that uh, if you read uh, the people who are angry about third parties right now. Um, but we're not like it wouldn't be a violation of our First Amendment rights. I can still say whatever I want. You can still say whatever you want. You're not violated in the First Amendment by someone choosing not to pay you to share your opinion. That's a very easy argument to destroy, yet this is what Don Lemon said when he went on CNN, that he's somehow a First Amendment martyr. Listen to Cut 9. That's a good question for Elon Musk, quite frankly, what happened. I don't know. As I said in my statement, I felt really good about the interview. I said to him as we were doing the interview, and it was tense at moments, but you've been involved in tense interviews. I said to him, I think it's good that people see folks like you and I who have different worldviews come together and talk, as he says, uh, have free speech. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is if they're allowed to speak freely and to say their point of view. Apparently that doesn't matter to Elon Musk. It's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric because it doesn't seem to matter when it's questions about him from people like me. Buck, would you pay someone who decided that they wanted to take the money that you were giving them and attack you? as a part of the money that you were paying them? No, and, and I think that Elon Musk, in good faith, as part of his desire to show that X is about being a platform and a free speech entity, uh, was willing to extend, you know, Tucker very publicly and, and with a lot of fanfare, took his show to X as a primary platform. I think that Elon said, all right, well, let's get Don Lemon on, somebody of, yeah. I mean, somewhat similar media stature from the other side. And uh, Don Lemon, this is how he responds. I mean, he, he effectively stabs the guy in the back who gave him a hand uh, at a time when I think Don Lemon's career clearly, uh, clearly needed it. But to me, the even bigger thing is Don Lemon, and this is true of many Democrats, so he's voicing an opinion that is generally held by Democrats in the media, which unfortunately is still 95% of people in the news media. Clay, he says, well, you know, if Elon believes in free speech, it means a speech that you don't like. That also means, quote, unquote, hate speech, everybody. Yeah. You know, this is we've started to lose this principle, even on the right a little bit. They say, oh, but, you know, but not hate. No, 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 no. Hate speech. Well, what is what qualifies as hate speech these days? What qualifies as white supremacy? I mean, if you look at some of the diversity and inclusion training that someone like Chris Rufo has uh, has been able to find and distribute, there are places that say white supremacy is demanding that people arrive on time for things. Yeah, that's. That was remember the Rufo training where he where he uh, oh, yeah. exposed no, I know. that. It, it, it's and, crazy, you know. So no, we can't allow people to say, "Oh no, you know, no, no hate speech." Well, we have to. It, it, you're going to have to very look. I understand it's a private platform, so yes, Elon can make these kinds of distinctions. But for these distinctions to be meaningful at all, you'd have to very narrowly tailor what would define true hate speech that they would then uh, remove from the platform in some way. But there is really an argument you made. I mean, ask a free speech absolutist. Ask somebody who really believes in the First Amendment. Can you say nasty, sexist, racist things and expect to be protected by the First Amendment, at least from government intrusion? So true free speech? The answer is yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm a free speech absolutist. I think you should be able to say anything. Uh, it doesn't mean there aren't consequences for what you say, but it doesn't mean that you should be paid to say it. That's a very big difference, and and a lot of people don't seem to understand that. We have a lot of writers at OutKick. We have hired a lot of them to share their opinions. If at some point one of those writers is not pulling his weight and isn't justified from a business perspective and being employed, we can move on from that writer. That doesn't mean we're not committed to free speech at OutKick. That person can say anything they want on their own platforms. I don't have to pay them to work at my platform. You guys can all, look, you can say anything about Buck and me and this show, and a lot of people do all day long, positive, mm -hmm. negative, everything in between. We're not trying to keep you from saying that, but but, but if, if we're not if paying Elon's, people to, to yeah, give yeah. opinions on the show. But if Elon's guiding guiding light, if you will, is free speech within the bounds of law, 
right? So you, you can't threaten to kill somebody, for example, on a device yeah. using interstate commerce. Like there are, and, but that's narrowly defined, very clear. And, um, you know, you, you say to yourself, okay, well, if you have a true free speech platform, shouldn't that include, I mean, I, someone has to explain to me why it shouldn't. If you believe in true free speech, as in what would be protected under the First Amendment as a private entity, shouldn't that include offensive, sexist, racist speech as well? If not, why not? You know, it, it, because the moment that you open this up to, they get to make the determinations on X as to what is hate speech. You know what's going to be considered hate speech? I don't think we should have 8 million illegals coming into the country. Oh, you said illegals, hate speech. Yeah, everyone no knows this is how they play the game. And and that's why the uh, that's why the danger in general of not having content neutral policies is so awful. And this is what we've seen yeah. happen. I mean, with if you wanted to ban ethnic slurs, universities. yeah, if you wanted to ban ethnic slurs, let's say, you say, okay, well, that's a that, that's a, that would be a universally applicable thing. So you know, you can't same thing like we're here. We can't curse on the radio. The FCC says we cannot curse, and so we don't. We wouldn't anyway, but so we don't. Those are at least rules that can be this vague. I don't want hate speech on the platform and the demands of this all the time. These are political bend the knee demands to whatever the left doesn't like. You have, you know, dead naming, also known as the name that some adult had for 40 years until he decided he was a woman. You're not allowed to say what the name is. That's hate speech. Twitter already did this. I'm not even, this isn't even theoretical. This is what they do. And that's why the notion that they should be banning hate speech on X, absolutely not. No, they shouldn't. They should have very well, specific the, rules. You want to ban ethnic slurs? Fine, that's a rule. But hate speech as a general concept, that's crazy. Even ethnic slurs is hard, right? Because then you end up at some point in some ethnic slurs are being used in a positive way. Some are being used Correct. in a negative way, right? Like who is that? What's Look, the intent? What we've lost is, and this is a big issue in the society in general, but we've lost the ability to have any sort of understanding and comprehension and context for almost everything, right? And so you end up when you end up with bright line rules, people fall apart. And look, I'm I don't even think there should be FCC rules on this show. Like I think it's very I agree. I think it's government like, I think it's government intrusion and it's nonsense, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. Just kidding, FCC. <laughs> Buying a house is a big deal. So much of the stress is reduced when you work with a mortgage company that listens and works hard on your behalf with a sense of urgency. That's American Financing, a family-owned mortgage company that's been around for 25 years. Right now, they're saving homeowners an average of $854 a month by tapping into their home's equity to pay off high-interest debt. With mortgage rates now in the fives, much lower than they've been in some time, this is a really good time to take a look at this. All it takes is a 10-minute call to their salary-based mortgage consultants to find out how much they can save you. Call today. They never charge any upfront fees, and you may be able to delay two mortgage payments. American Financing at 800-777-8109. That phone number is 800-777-8109 or visit AmericanFinancing.net. That's AmericanFinancing.net. 